Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom bringing you guys another video guys in today's video We're gonna be showing you guys how to get more solo victory royales now This is specifically for solo now you can use these tips and tricks in squads and duos again You can use it in squads and duos. It does help out a little bit But these are kind of kind of directed towards solo um, again it, it really depends I have more squad and solo tips on my channel So if you guys want to check out those videos if you need help on any of those gameplays just go check out my channel. I have other videos there. But besides that, before you guys actually start the video, if you please can, give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate that more than anything. I know you guys love these tips and tricks videos. So if you guys want them to keep coming, just give the video a thumbs up. Let's try and hit like 500 likes on this video. I know you can do it. It's up to you guys, though. I appreciate the love. But with that being said, let's actually get into the video. So if you want more solo victory royales, you're going to need to learn how to be patient. You're going to learn have to learn how to play smarter and listen to these tips because it is completely different playing solo compared to duos and squads because solo is a lot more campy. It's a lot more quiet. It's a lot more slow pace. And duos and squads, everyone's running around because you you have your teammates. So if you get knocked down, you have your teammates to pick you up. Plus, in duos and squads, you have four people looking around the map, so your your whole squad can be pushing from one city to another, and everyone's looking in all directions. So that way you can actually cover seeing everything from everywhere but in solos it's only you you only have yourself you don't have any help of any of your teammates and anything like that so it can be a little bit harder but in today's video i'm going to try to give you guys the best tips that i can to make you guys dominate in solo gameplays guys i promise you if you actually pay attention to these tips and listen to it and actually put it into perspective into the gameplay you guys are going to get a lot more wins starting off with the first tip that i want to tell you guys is landing at the same location every single time now i know i've said this before but the reason landing at the same location is very important is because you have to get consistent with it you guys you have to learn everything about that spot because if you keep landing there i'm gonna promise you guys this now 50 to 60 percent of my wins are at one specific location and then it's probably like 10 percent at each and every other location but 50 percent in one one spot one location is a lot of wins in that location it's because i'm so good at salty springs i know where all the chess is i know how people rotate salty springs and i've played it so much to the point where i understand what people like to do in salty springs i understand because i've, I've seen it happen so many times with my own eyes because i've done it so many times that i understand that once people loot a certain house they usually like to go this route to go to another house so you you start to learn things like that so whenever you start going to the same location every single time i promise you guys it's going to help you out a lot because you're going to start to learn stuff like that and it's going to make you a better player learning things like that really does help it doesn't sound like it can be that fun but honestly it does get really fun because once you actually perfect it that's like your home base man that 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 location that you land at all the time i'm not saying you have to go to salty springs a lot of people like pleasant park retail row some people some of my friends don't even like salty springs they love retail row but i'm not that big of a retail row fan so again everyone has their own preferences but pick one place that you're actually used to going to and that you like playing at go to that location a lot more often and you guys i promise you you're going to get better because you're going to learn where people are you're going to actually see where people land on the map and then after you loot your house you're going to know what route you need to take in order to get from one house to the other because in solos, that's probably the one time you'll die is either one, in the house at the start or two trying to get from one location in the house to the other and then once you take over that town guys it's, it's pretty simple i mean after that it's just a normal game you're just literally running around trying to see what you can do to find loot or anything like that if you don't have good loot out of that city because i don't know say if you pick a city like junk junction and you try to land there every time you're not going to get the best loot in the world there so you're going to have to get more kills so if you guys pick a good spot like pleasant park Pl uh, salty springs greasy grove any of these locations it's gonna have good loot so if you actually win and take over that city you're gonna leave that city with good loot so for the rest of the game honestly you don't have to get any kills i mean if you have good enough loot you can start hiding you can start camping if you guys didn't see my very first tip and trick video on how to get more solo wins i said camp and hide because yes i know it can be boring but it can get you the victory out because the more chances you have of encountering gunfights you have a bigger percentage chance of losing and it's just facts you guys the numbers are just there and again this makes sense because think about this if you're constantly going into gunfights you're either going to win that gunfight or lose that gunfight so it's a 50 50 percent chance 
whether you're going to win or lose that gunfight. So if you encounter less gunfights, that's a 100% chance that you're not going to die because you're not encountering gunfights. You're going to be hiding. You're going to be in a circle. You're going to be in a building hiding and just listening. That's all you have to do is literally sound horn and listen. And that's coming up as the next step, as step number two that I want you guys to actually pay attention to. But first, we're going to finish talking about where you're landing and stuff like that. And again, if you're constantly landing at your favorite location, it's going to get a lot easier it, it, at first maybe it might be hard but over time even if you do this in duos and squads if you and your friends land at that location it's still good because you're still going to learn things about that location that city and it's going to help out a lot now i know a lot of people like picking stuff like tilted towers but tilted towers might be destroyed by the end of this season you guys so i don't know if i would suggest tilted towers being one of the locations it does have very good loot but it is extremely hard tilted towers isn't really the easiest place to land at all the time and learn it now again you can land there a lot and get used to it and learn it and perfect it nick Merckx is a prime example he's phenomenal at tilted towers i mean the dude lands there all the time he literally dominates he can go to a solo squad at tilted towers and just dominate that's because he goes there so much to the point where he understands how people play the game he understands where people go at tilted towers and what they do and where everything that can spawn at tilted towers spawns at so he doesn't spend any time literally looking for chess or anything like that because he knows automatically where it is he has a routine that he sticks to and he does it and that's what you guys need to do is stick to a routine that you're used to exactly like me i go to salty springs right after salty springs i'll hit the gray house and then i'll go to the factories that's right over here on the left side of my screen and then after that i'll either decide on what where the circle is going if i want to go to dusty depot or retail road now again it all matters on the circle but i have the same route that i like to stick to that's because i know it and i, I really understand that route good so you guys are going to be wanting to go do the same thing and it's going to be repetitive but it's going to make you a better player you're going to get a lot more wins once you get that first win just get ready because they're going to start coming in a lot quicker because once you actually get that first win you're actually gonna be like wow i learned do the same exact thing you did in that game to get that victory royale do the same exact thing it's going to be a little bit different because people don't always play exactly the same again these are actual people these aren't computers so everything's going to be a little bit different but again if there's like four or five scenarios you're gonna see each and every scenario the more you do it so then you're gonna know how to play it you're gonna know exactly how to do it but with that being said you guys we're gonna cover the next step which is sound whoring everything in this game has to do with sound whoring i mean you can hear people's footsteps when they're running up on you so if you don't have a headset if you don't have a good mic actually you don't even need a good mic you just need a good headset so you can hear so if you guys don't have a good headset and i know a lot of you guys ask me questions like what kind of a good headset do you mean guys there's turtle beaches there's uh astros there's a whole bunch of gaming headsets out there that have all kinds of different prices astros are in the 250 dollars range i mean that's what i got again you don't need that you can actually go get 60 dollars turtle beaches and just crank the volume up all the way you just need something that's loud so you can actually hear a lot of people play on their tv and their tv's not that loud or they can't really hear much on their tv or they like to play with music if you like to play with music i'm gonna tell you right now you might want to turn the music off because you can actually sound whore a lot better if you're literally just focusing on the game rather than hearing music or your friends in the background or anything like that you literally need to focus on what you hear because a lot of the times when you guys actually see me in gunfights you're gonna see that I, I i start turning and looking a certain direction and freaking out and start building before i even see anyone and that's because the second i hear someone i hear someone putting up ramps rushing me or something i'm going to automatically build because i'm not going to sit there and try and find out where they're coming from I'm gonna first build up, get my high ground advantage on them, and then see where they are. Because again, you wanna have high ground advantage, and I literally did that like eight times in this gameplay right now. So if you guys are actually watching the gameplay too, that will help you out a lot. So out of the suggestions, my friend, he actually went to Target and got like one of the cheapest headsets there. It's like $60. It's actually a really good headset. The mic quality is actually pretty good, so me and my friends, we can actually hear him clear and good. And he has his own headset, so he can hear everything himself. He can literally hear sound whore. He can do anything that he needs to do, and that's all you need. A lot of people like to plug in their Apple headphones to their PS4 controller. That's not really a good suggestion just because you can't turn it up that loud. It doesn't cover your ears. Like the noise-canceling headsets, those are the good ones, man. Those are the ones where you can actually focus on the gameplay and hear everything. And if, if you don't have the best headset in the world, try to just turn up the volume on your TV. I know, I know it sounds pretty simple and easy, and a lot of people are like, dude, I should have done that or I've been doing that. But a lot of people actually don't do this. They, they think that they don't need sound. But this game is probably 70% sound when it comes to seeing people. Like, yes, you do see people, but you hear people just as much as you see people. So it's going to be a lot better if you guys have a good headset in the game. And also another thing I want to cover is later in the game, you're going to need mats. If you're coming to a top 10 situation, 
and you don't have materials and stuff like that, you guys, it's going to be hard to win those fights because a lot of the people at the end of the game, they're usually the better people in the lobby because they ended up lasting that long. But sometimes you can get lucky and you can run into somebody that's not the best in the world. So my suggestion, if you guys are watching the gameplay in the background, if you hear two people fighting and you're the last person alive, what you need to do is you need to rush those people. You need to literally go and fight them without them seeing you. Get close enough to the point where you can actually kill one and then you can actually focus the other one because the other one's going to be weak. When they're fighting like that, let them fight, let them get each other weak and then that's when you need to jump in because he's weak. That's your chance to shine and actually make things happen. But if you're going to sit there and just hide while the two people are fighting, you're, you're wasting your time. And then say one of them dies and it's a 1v1 and you're still hiding in the same spot. Don't do that because if you're going to be still hiding in that same exact spot, they're going to have enough time to loot that person, heal up, shield up, and then find you so don't do that the second you see them fighting you need to get close enough to the point where you can see both of them and you'll be ready to shoot guys but that's the best tips that i have for you guys in today's video if you guys do want more tips i promise you i have a lot more tips that i can give you guys that will make you a better player at this game i have over 500 plus wins in this game i have over 10,000 kills and i have like a 4.3 or 5 something kd it's a good kd hope you guys enjoyed the video again give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in tomorrow's video peace